This is the brand new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. With 30 shades in the collection, this foundation is designed to blur the line between makeup and skin with a medium buildable coverage. It's waterproof, fade proof for up to 12 hours and has an unnecessarily long name. And today we're putting it to the test. First, let's color match this and see how it oxidizes down. Then, let's see how this blends out and then finally we're gonna take this on the road and see how this wears. Let's start by giving this a good shake. This is it right here. It's got a beautiful glass component, plastic lid, beautiful pump. Now the directions say to give this two pumps when applying it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how two pumps, cause that is a tiny pump. Like given my nail, my nails are quite short today, but that is a tiny pump. So we're gonna do two pumps. That's it, that's all you get. So that is a very small amount of foundation to cover your whole face, but that is the recommended amount. She does recommend that you go in and use a brush for this to apply it, apply it, and pat it out. Just kind of, you know, giving it a good sweep across the face only where you need it. So I'm like, is this super full coverage? Why do you only have to apply it where you need it and not all over your face? That's something I was like a little bit curious about. So we're gonna go in with a brush right now, something a little bit dense, but fluffy to blend this out. I'm gonna be using this CC Skin Perfecting Brush right here. This is a number 702 from IT Cosmetics. I'm just gonna tap into that foundation. I've got a good amount on my brush. So she does say you can go in with her primer, which I have in front of me, but she also says to go in with a clean face for the best results. And I'm thinking, okay, that's a little bit contradictory. So I'm gonna actually apply this today with a completely clean face, but you can go in and use any primer you want under this foundation. Let's talk about my problem areas right now. I've got a little bit of acne here, a spot here. I've got my hyperpigmentation spot here, which you guys all know about because I complain about it all the time. But I've got a little bit of redness right here and here. This is kind of like dark circles. Did not sleep great last night, so I've got a little bit of darkness there. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with this side of my face because I wanna see what the difference will be like. So I'm just gonna start by doing small circular motions here on my cheek and my nose. I'm going directly under the eye. There's no smell to this whatsoever, so I really appreciate that. Blends out really nice, super silky. It covered that redness right there where I have that acne spot beautifully. So let's go in where I have the hyperpigmentation spot. Okay. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more redness disappear right there, but I'm happy with it. And I'm just taking what's left on my brush. We're not dipping back into the palette. And I'm just doing my forehead, blending it into my hairline. And this is a beautiful color match. When I picked this up at Sephora, I actually ordered two of these. I ordered one online. It was a lot darker, so I went into Sephora and I picked this up, color matched it, and I was like, okay, this is it. In their little carousel display for this foundation, which is a brand new display, they didn't have this shade. She had to go in the back, which I thought was weird. Why wouldn't they have all the shades on display? Kind of a little weird, but if you guys are going into Sephora to purchase this, I recommend it because according to the online website where they have all the shades listed, they are a lot darker in person than they are on the website. So this has been on for a hot minute. I have the product on this side of my face and nothing on this side. This honestly didn't really oxidize down terribly much. It is just the perfect shade. There are 30 shades in the collection. Honestly, this is beautiful. The texture, like it did dry down, but it is still very emollient and a little hydrating, a little dewy. It's not totally dry, dry. Like it, it moves a little on me. Like it's, it's a soft feeling. It's not like a dried down feeling, but it is a very hydrating product. Like it looks hydrating. It looks really nice compared to this side where I've got nothing on my skin. I like it. So I am going to just tap into what is left on my palette. She does say you can go in and apply this on the back of your hand, warm it up and then apply it to the face. But I just decided to use my palette because I always use my palette. I'm just going to blend this out. Interesting. So I have been talking to you guys for a hot minute and the product that was left on the palette, I feel like it's a little bit drier now and a little bit harder to blend out. So do work a little bit fast when you are applying this. 
Maybe this has something to do with her new formula. I just reviewed her brand new tinted bronzer and honestly you had like minutes, like seconds to blend out that product. And I feel like this one is kind of the same. It's, you know, it's giving me a beautiful blend, but it is just a little bit more of a work with, you have to blend it in really fast like that. But the coverage is beautiful. It is a very light to natural but medium coverage. It did cover this red right here, which I really liked. And definitely the red that I had right here and the dark circles under my eyes. Considering I have a no, you know, primer, no concealer, I'm impressed. Now, the texture, the consistency of this. If you guys have seen or tried the Lady Gaga House Labs foundation, which I think is beautiful, and I believe that there is 51 shades in that collection, it is stunning. Gorgeous foundation, love that one. This is very similar in texture to that, but I feel like this one's even more hydrating than that one is. This is also very similar to the Chanel Revitalizing Foundation that was launched about a year ago. Again, beautiful, like, it's just a beautiful coverage, beautiful foundation, feels exactly like that. And very similar ingredients in that one as well. That one is, I believe, $75 Canadian, and I think that there's 30 shades in the collection. Now that I have that blended in, and I'm surprised. Two pumps is all that it took for me to blend out my entire face. Compared to other foundations, especially ones like the brand new Makeup by Mario, his foundation is gorgeous. It's definitely more full coverage than this, but you have to go in with quite a bit more. He does recommend two pumps, but you really have to work that to blend it out. This is stunning. Like, the coverage on this is beautiful. It blends directly into my hairline. You don't have that mask of demarcation. The color match is phenomenal. And it really kind of took away the redness, especially in my hyperpigmentation area right there and right here where I've got that little acne spot. And under my eye where I kind of have that blue vein that I always correct with concealer, I have on no concealer whatsoever. I'm happy with this. I could leave my house like this with just this on and be really, really impressed. I'm gonna finish my face and I'll check back in with you guys in about six hours. <laughs> loving the product except I'm getting lifting right here from wearing my glasses. It's a very dewy foundation but even though I powdered it, I set my face, it lifts right off when you're wearing glasses. That part I do not love whatsoever. If you do wear glasses, I would not recommend this foundation for you. If you guys would like foundation recommendations for glasses wearing people, let me know and I can do a whole video on it. I did my very favorite make a pack where I went in with two different setting sprays, the Patrick Star On Till Dawn and also the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Setting Spray. Mix those together, my makeup never budges. It budged. Honestly, that is a proven hack that I love and seriously with this, it just budged and it came off. I'm not impressed. Let's head back to the studio and we're gonna talk about what I liked about it and what I don't. We're back in the studio. Let's talk about what I liked about this product. I love that you only need two tiny, tiny pumps with this and it's $64, like the price range. I think all that's great. This is great for 12 months and honestly, it's going to work for the entire 12 months given that you just need such a tiny amount with this bottle. Love that about this. It's dewy, it's glowy, you've got a really nice texture to it. You can go in with primer, it's gonna stick a little bit better, but my problem with this, the major problem with this is for those of you that wear glasses like I do, this picked up and it shifted right here and it moved. But on the website, this claims 12 hours of fade proof wear. Did we get 12 hours of fade proof wear? No, we did not. So that is disappointing to me. Now I can go in with a primer, a different primer. I am gonna test this out. I will update you guys in the future, but if you guys are going in with no primer and a clean face like they recommend, just know that it will lift up off the bridge of your nose if you're wearing sunglasses or eyeglasses. It's just, it's gonna happen. It happened to me, it'll probably happen to you, especially if you're in a humid climate like Florida or somewhere like that. Now, can I recommend this to you guys? I think it's stunning, I think it's really beautiful, but at the same time, I would recommend probably the House Labs foundation over this one, and also the Chanel. If you're looking for something a little bit more higher end, go with the Chanel, but the House Labs has more shades, being as they have 51 shades, and it's cheaper. 
it's this formula is very very similar like it's so comparable it's crazy if you guys want me to battle it out let me know in the comments down below so if you loved the video don't forget to hit that like button it helps your girl out and if you guys haven't seen it yet definitely check out the brand new laura mercier tinted bronzer right there all right guys until next time live love and lip gloss bye